Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny. Welcome back to yet another FNAF news video. This one's going to be very quick. However, it is probably one of the most important FNAF news videos we've made probably throughout the history of this channel. This is a very, very big one. So sit back, get some popcorn ready. We've got a lot to discuss. So if you have not been keeping up to date with what's going on on the FNAF movie, I have made two videos before talking about the casting and also how filming's going. Because if you've been living under a rock, and you haven't checked in on the film for a couple years, it's finally happening. They started filming February 1st, which was a couple days ago. Filming's been going very well. Once again, if you want more updates on that, and also some of the cast and crew involved with the film, I've made videos on those link in the description. And like I said, in this video, we got some major, major news we gotta talk about revolving some more FNAF movies actually officially confirmed. And also we got yet another character cast for the film, and we're gonna talk about what their implications are at the very end of the video. So if you're excited for this, FNAF movie news. Don't forget to tickle the subscribe button. I said that last time and people seem to be really weirded out, so I'm gonna say it again. Hey, make sure you tickle that subscribe button for more news. So hopping right into the big story for today, a couple days ago, Matthew Lillard, who has been cast as William Afton, aka the purple guy in the FNAF movie, he was on an interview with Weekly Magic the Gathering, and they got talking about some projects and conventions Matthew's involved in, and I think it's best I just play the clip. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, this is your big news for the day. Uh, and then the last question, are you yourself going to be in Philadelphia? I was supposed to be in Philadelphia, mm -hmm. but I just got cast in a movie called Five Nights at Freddy's. I know um, that one. Congratulations. Very, yeah, it's very fun. It's a uh, <laughs> three picture deal with Universal and, and Blumhouse. So unfortunately, my day job is taking me um, mm -hmm. off to work, which I'm very grateful for. Uh, but I am Huge. not actually going to be in Philly this time. And we'll just pause the interview there. That's all we need for this video. But of course, let's go back a little bit because Matthew said something very, very important that I want to make sure no one missed. Yeah, it's very fun. It's a three-picture deal. A uh, 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 what now? Oh, a three-picture deal, Matthew. You don't say. Ladies and gentlemen, do you know what that means? That means Matthew has officially signed on for three, not just one, not just two, but three FNAF movies with Blumhouse and Universal. This is absolutely massive. I really cannot wrap my head around it. Not too long ago, I made a video talking about a potential merger that Blumhouse is going to have with another production company, Atomic Monster. And in that article, they talked about how they greenlit a sequel to one of their more recent films. Films, Megan just based off trailer reactions alone and I predicted a similar thing would happen with them greenlighting another FNAF movie once the trailer for that got released but no way could I have imagined that they would not only have that negotiated a second film but also a third one while filming has only just started like I said I mean as I'm recording this it's February 3rd this is like only day three of filming and they have two other films already planned out. The best part is, because Matthew said he's signed a three-picture deal, that means Matthew Lillard, aka the purple guy, is going to be in all three movies. Now, if you're a loyal follower of all news FNAF movie, you may remember back in, I believe it was 2019 or 2018, Docco did an interview with Scott Cawthon, the creator of FNAF, and in that interview, Scott talked about how ideally there'd be three total FNAF movies based off the first three games. People who go to see the movie aren't gonna want to see a retelling of the books. They're going to want to see the first game. They're going to want to see a retelling of the story that got them interested in the first place. You know, the first game had the right atmosphere, the right characters, and that's what people are going to want. And um, ideally, if the first movie does really well, I think it would work great as a trilogy. Um, Five Nights at Freddy's 1, Five Nights at Freddy's 2, and Five Nights at Freddy's 3, based on the first three games. And it seems like that's all but confirmed. If you look at the news we've gotten for this first FNAF movie, it seems strikingly similar to the very first FNAF game. You've got Mike Schmidt, uh, played by Josh Hutcherson, walking at a Freddy Fazbear's pizzeria, and then at night, the animatronics get a bit quirky. You've got the five missing kids, which, by the way, you may remember we talked about those ghost kids in a previous FNAF news video. How, I believe her name was Jofel Love, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, or I'm probably not actually, <laughs> was cast as ghost kid number five, and a lot of people thought she looked strikingly similar to Susie, the child who goes on to possess Chica. Well, as it turns out, the other day we got the announcement that David Huston, again, apologies if I'm not pronouncing that correctly, has been cast as ghost kid number three, and he looks strikingly similar similar to Gabriel as depicted in one of the graphic novels. So it's all starting to line up. This first movie is going to be 
mainly based on the events of FNAF 1. I know it may seem strange we got characters like Vanessa thrown in here, but I think that's more of like a Jeremy and Mike situation where Scott loves to reuse familiar names we all know and love. And again, they're probably doing very, very similar events, but just in a different continuity, so it doesn't, you know, overlap or underlap too, too much. But anyways, you've got the first film based on FNAF 1, the second film based on FNAF 2, which is going to be pretty interesting because FNAF 2 is a prequel. And it also has a lot more animatronic characters, the Withers, the Toys, Balloon Boy, the Puppet. And of course, third and finally, you've got FNAF 3, which hopefully, if things go right, according to Matthew, we're going to see him dressed up as Springtrap for the big finale. That is going to be absolutely massive. I cannot wait. Once again, I can't believe they've already got Scott's original vision in mind. Hopefully, they have the scripts, or at least a slight vision of what the second and third movie are going to be like because if they also go through seven years of production hell dude we're going to be like on our deathbed watching the FNAF 3 finale you know what I mean but this is just absolutely massive news I'd love to know what do you guys think of this news in the comments down below are you happy we're getting three total films or do you think maybe it's going to be a bit too much are you looking forward to seeing the first three games adapted into live action for the big screen or are you disappointed that some games like FNAF 4 Sister Location Hell, maybe even Security Breach aren't going to be made into movies. Or who knows, maybe they're massively successful and Scott and <laughs> Jason Blum are like, we can keep milking this cow just like those games. And in that previous video I just mentioned where I talked about the potential merger that Blumhouse is going to have, they did mention wanting to make a few more TV shows, so maybe we can see a FNAF TV show if they don't want to keep making films. I'm not entirely sure, I'm just spitballing at this point, but it seems like they have a very clear vision in mind when it comes to the big screen for Freddy Fazbear and all his cast. If you're wondering about any updates on how filming for the first movie is going, by the way, we haven't had as much news as the first day. We have gotten a few other Instagram stories from some of the cast members, but they don't really have any new information. I know Kat Connor Sterling, who is cast as Max, who appears to be a brand new character, recently posted to her story that she has a costume on but she hides the costume because obviously she can't reveal it. So it's kind of small stuff like that that isn't really worth mentioning. Filming's planned to be wrapped up at the very start of April, and I don't imagine we're going to get too much news. Definitely don't expect news like every single day. I think that first day, because it was day one, was so chaotic, so much stuff was happening. That's why we got so much details. But I think that's going to do it for this FNAF News video. Again, very quick, but tell me, what do you think about the three planned movies in the comments down below? So coincidentally, I'm wearing my Scream t-shirt, and the Scream and himself, Matthew Lillard, just gave us the bombshell of the century. I was planning on uploading a regular FNAF News video today, but I guess I'll have to push that back because, wow, I just needed to talk about this. <laughs> so stay tuned for some more FNAF News coming to you very, very soon. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.